and that educational services are not being provided to our children the way they should be based on our numbers. We need to confront the people who run our school system and demand that they provide education that our children deserve. We recently elected a new school board here in Alexandria. We threw out all the ones that were there except for one, and we have a whole new board. And that board was elected to represent your interest and our children. They now determine the policies that affect our children. We know, or should know, that there is an achievement gap here in Alexandria between white students, black, and Latino students. Is the board doing anything about reducing that achievement gap? Have you as a citizen done anything to find out what they're doing? If not, you need to. You need to let the board know that you're concerned about this achievement gap and you need to find out from them what they're going to do or what they are doing to make sure that that gap decreases. Let me give you another example. Here in Alexandria, we have a program called TAG, Talented and Gifted. It's a state-mandated program originally designed for students who were exceptional, who had gifts and talents above everybody else. They were truly talented and gifted. That sounds nice, right? That's what everybody would hope that their children are. Maybe some children aren't. My children were, my children weren't. But that's besides the point. If they are, they should be in that program. Well, as it turns out, the way it is today is a prime example of what Dr. King was protesting about while he was alive. Inequality. What I mean by inequality is that today, TAG is a school, system, a school program within the school system. It is a school that does not have anywhere near the number of minority students in it that given the number of minority students in the system, there should be. In fact, for years and years and years and years and years, it's been a school program